Hi all! Good to see you on my AMMR channel. My name is Max. I wish you a good time this day. Today I want to discuss with you that Anna Duggar wants to tell all of us that she's very happily married. We all know the sad truth despite Josh's imprisonment and his heinous crimes. I don't think Anna will ever divorce Josh simply because her upbringing forbids it. We have all wondered more than once if Anna could make an exception for the sake of her children. My answer is no. She ruins her divorce hopes with words that can only be described as nonsense. Josh has just begun serving his 12-year sentence. Last year he was convicted of unthinkable crimes for which there is no forgiveness, and any of us sane people would have walked away long ago. But I'm just shocked. Instead, what Anna did is this. She updated her Instagram bio to indicate that she's the mother of seven children, not just six. It was a small correction, but I was outraged that she left it unchanged. I'm a Christian, Anna begins, happily married and have seven beautiful children. As I said, it was a minor revision on her biography, an update on the number of children, but Anna could have made any change in her biography. If anything, the seventh child gave her the perfect excuse. This makes maintaining a happy marriage an audacious act of defiance of common sense, basic decency and truth itself. One of the major disturbing factors of her stubbornness is her disturbingly close relationship with her evil in-laws. Anna will always ride between the lines as long as she relies so heavily on Jim, Bob and Michelle. There is also the issue of the extreme views and toxic teachings of the pernicious cult to which she belongs. Anna is not expected to form her own opinions, at least not negative ones, and never about her husband. Josh's role is to define the values of the family, Anna is expected to smile and agree with everything. And the most absurd thing to me is that she repeatedly expresses unintelligent and untrue beliefs. Contrary to all evidence, she believes that Josh is innocent. He is not. She has suggested that he was politically harassed or even framed by President Joe Biden. It's always interesting to hear about the astounding feats people think Biden can accomplish. Despite leaks, we're talking about a guy who seemed caught off guard by SCOTUS recent human rights rollbacks. The guy colluding with Mitch McConnell to appoint a pro-state mandated childbirth judge is just not going to target a political enemy. Besides, only Anna is deluded enough to consider Josh a political enemy. The guy sold used cars. He was already a former reality TV star. I don't think he's the celebrity an important political leader would hear about. What do you think? Write in the comments. Anna is just forcing herself to believe anything, no matter how absurd, to justify why she supports Josh. From the outside looking in, this is a woman who can handle herself and her children. She is also a victim of a cult. Anna can be profoundly wrong and is in a difficult situation. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button.